<laughs> all right guys so welcome back we're back at the storage unit again i don't know what video this is second third fourth i'm not sure we've already been through all of this stuff um today we're literally just gonna get anything that is potential ebay we're not, we're not gonna mess with the furniture uh but i cleared basically a little path but we pulled out some boxes that we have not gone through yet so we're gonna go through this stuff with you guys and uh hopefully share some goodness in there the only thing that we really saw was that a little messed up little old school bell helmet uh i think so this is a triple beam balance ohas i think that's actually a good brand i could be wrong this is the 800 series 700 series 800 series i don't know i don't see no model number on it. i think 3201 might be the model so there's that this looks promising it does have a little thing here oh, oh yeah in the front let's see what this is okay little little tool kit those always sell like i said put them in the yard sale or something and like i said we have, haven't been through any of this stuff so okay it looks like it's gonna be paperwork all right so that's gonna be oh and looks like we got more paperwork what is this something messed up that's for sure a little scale, scale. tanita model 1476 We'll put it off to the side just in case you never know. And uh, more paperwork. And looks like it's gonna be more paperwork. Again, we'll we'll go through the paperwork later on. Uh that also says paperwork, but we will open it up just to verify. But we are very excited to be back here, you guys, because we really, 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 really want to find some more goodness. Oh, I see Star Wars. Well, I guess it is table work, huh? Yeah. Uh, might be kids. Yeah. Okay. So more paperwork there. And you got this thing right here, this little armor all, little shop back thing. That's pretty cool. All right. We actually pulled this out last time that we were here, but we never went through it, and we realized that we never showed you guys. So, like, so we never been through this, but traditions performance firearms A five one zero three load it, shoot it, clean it kit. Me. Yeah put that in my pocket <laughs> brand new we'll throw that in the you ebay did. pile right there at least we'll look at it this thing's kind of heavy a little ammo can yep. oh those are mags those are mags you guys look at that and again oh yeah we also pulled something out too i'm gonna get my wife to show you it was in a box that was in the front left here and we didn't go through it and i just randomly grabbing it and it was a thing that said jewelry and we we took a sneak peek and i'm not gonna lie and uh, let's just say it's kind of wild. Look at that. What are they too? Um, I don't know. It says China on the bottom though. Ooh. Or at least one of them. I'm not sure. It says S6 on the bottom. One of them says 24. I don't know. They're mad. So we'll definitely, uh, definitely take those with us for sure. And it's a NASCAR lamp. Oh, no, that's a oh, it's fan. a fan. It's a fan. Yeah, it's a fan. That's cool. That's oh, pretty that cool. Sense. I thought it was gonna be like a lamp or something, but that's, that's actually cool. Oh, pretty look. cool. Look. It's, oh, a it's a car. It's a cars one. That's cool. And, and you've then, sold then, one of those before. Yeah, a little jukebox thing. What is this? Oh, bag. Huh. That is pretty cool. So okay, so that's a lamp. Oh, and I just realized we yeah, have the that's the, top, that's of the, the top of the lamp. Car stuff is highly collectible. Again, not sure if uh if it's worth any money, but they are collectible for sure. We'll go ahead and show them. them. Yeah, go ahead and show them that while I rearrange this stuff. All right, so there was this mural envelope, and then we saw all these paper clips, and I don't know if y'all can see that, but I Brent, up one. yeah, Brandon looked up one, and it said it was 14k, 14 carat, 14 sorry. Carat gold, yep. And so we're but thinking that all of these are. Real. I'm pretty sure they're all gold. So I mean, just look, look at the, the colored. But literally all i'm pretty sure all that is gold guys yeah and if all that is majority 14 carry you're looking at i don't know what the weight is right now um, but i mean that's got to be at least 14 carry. i mean five six hundred bucks maybe more that'd be nice but yeah they're all real pretty and everything so we are hopefully gonna cash those in got everything cleared out so now like i said we already been through all of this um we have not gone through this back and then all the way back obviously but we went through all this stuff uh we did get the safe home and then just to prove it to you guys yeah big old bruise look at that bruise 
that's hard work and then that bruise right ignore there. my whiteness but uh <laughs> but yeah so and then your forearm my oh yeah yeah you gotta show then your my forearm. forearm that's right so battle scar but we got them both opened up they're gonna be coming tomorrow so that's gonna be fun uh to, to record for you guys um if it hadn't been shown by now uh so yeah so i guess so here's the die cast cards that we saw on the first day so let's go through this, see if there's anything in this, and then we'll try to pull these toes. Oh look, there's actually a case right here. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice that, then there's like three boxes underneath. So that's what we're gonna do. Go through this, go through these boxes, then we're probably gonna move this stuff out. So let's let's go ahead and do it. Come over here, my love. All right, what do you think? Manifest, manifest, guns. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Whoa, I think this is broke, actually, yep. Yeah. I thought I felt something whenever I pulled it out. Okay, so that's broken. So unfortunately, that might not be this. SFI pants. Okay. Racing pants. Racing pants. Oh, look, look, look. Ooh. Oh. All right, so these look like kids. Yeah. They're yeah, these are definitely kids. So I'm not sure there's much value in that, but I don't know. It's called a Bear Archery Brave 2. Brave 2. I mean, that's still, hey. That's pretty cute. The fact that we found this in a freaking drawer <laughs> and we already found gold. Barnet Vortex Light. Yeah, Barnet Archery Vortex Light. And they seem kind of nice, but they, do. but they do feel a little cheaper, I won't lie, compared to the ones that we found. Okay, so that's definitely gonna go with us. All right, bows, maybe guns? Maybe. Guns, guns, guns. Oh, oh wait, what is this? It's like, oh, God, this is one of those old school prison balls. Yeah. Oh, it's like the shackles. So I can really be your ball and chain. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> is that worth money? I don't know. You guys, look. That is this, so Like, how cool. heavy that thing is. Careful. I don't know. Careful. I'm good. It's heavy. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And it really has, even has, has an extra thing of shackles. Yo. Bro. He's not an escape prisoner, is right? he? Right. Well, th those were used, like, back in the day. Or, oh, this thing here says NASCAR. Oh, it's tape. <laughs> you can't even close uh, it It's because this thing... <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that just shows you how heavy that thing is. <laughs> Alright, this thing says NASCAR. You guys, if y'all don't get in the storage units, I highly recommend doing it, man, because you can find some serious stuff. Alright, so now winter circles are not great sellers to be honest, but four piece glassware set. Oh, that's Dale Jr. Uh, Joe, no, Dale, Dale Jr. Jr. As y'all can tell, I'm getting a little too excited. A little puzzle thing. I don't know. Uh, but then you got this thing, a little Dale Earnhardt mug, die cut magnet, even though there's no magnet on it, so you probably cut it out. Look at that, Dale Earnhardt little bubba keg. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And what is this? Centric Hollywood, California. Oh, another mug. Oh, Elvis? Elvis. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, cool. Bone China. Okay. Not just NASCAR stuff, and there's a, somebody splint. Ew. A uh, bunch of little die cast stuff down there. And nothing too exciting, but it is collectibles. Alright, this is paperwork. That's all paperwork, you guys. Alright, just had to move that stuff. This thing right here appears to be die cast cards. Let's take a look. Dang. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. A little knife set. Winter circle. What are these? Oh, these are little canisters in memory with that knife. Yeah, that's pretty cool. These are Dale Earnhardt, so might be a little, might be a little money in them. Oh, look, you even got big cars. Holy crap! Believe it or not, there's a lot of some of these stuff are not worth money, but some of these can be worth some good, good money. We've even sold one for like 400 bucks. Dale Earnhardt, number two rookie of the year. So I don't know. <laughs> look at that one. Dale Earnhardt Legendary Series. Look at that. So definitely likes his uh, Dale Earnhardt, that's for sure. I'm not going to take them all out, but if you want to get on the inside here, maybe you can see a little more, but there's a ton of this stuff. That's Ertl Collectibles. Oh, we even got Elvis in here. Elvis Presley, Johnny Lightning. So that is very exciting stuff, the fact that we're still finding collectibles, even though we did see this on day one, but I didn't know the extent of what was in here. But it, the fact that it's Dale Earnhardt, makes me feel like there's going to be some okay value there the nascar stuff is not something that i look for in general but 
You never know. Oh no, Charlie, look at all this. No. It looks like we're getting to the clothes, you guys. No. So we're not gonna bore you guys too much with the clothes. Well, let's just take a quick look and just see. Lug nuts. <laughs> These are vintage clothes though. Oh, Charlie. Oh my goodness. Hold on, wait. So this is why you check, you guys. This is why you check. Okay, hold on. Look at that. National Late Model Sportsman Racing Tee. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's pretty dope. That is cool. That is from... Uh, so, uh, that's Oglethorpe Speedway. That's year 2000. 2000. Yep, year 2000. Look at that. So we got racing t-shirts, you guys. Hold on. So like I said, like I said, never count out clothes as much as I hate them. Never count them out. So let's see. Oh, Charlie, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So these aren't like NASCAR, I don't think. No. But still cool oh, look at that lennox racing team wait was he on a i told you he might be on a race this is on a vintage oneida um let's see nascar and then uh we got two cans oh there you go there's another one what does that say ride right uh, american freedom something that's the front and it is on a vintage tag you guys vintage arizona premium weight something yeah so there appears to be some solid stuff in here you guys let's see I'm trying to find some more graphic tees if they're in here graphic tees are highly collectible but i mean that's not that's fort lauderdale but it's not a racing thing um oh but we did find some more look at that rebel Little racing it's like a kid shirt yeah and then there's that one. Oh wait hard that's, rock. that's hard rock yeah it's vintage hard rock that's the calls, cool. so so yeah, there's, there's definitely money there. So maybe, this, like I said, that's why you don't judge a book by its cover and you always go through the clothes because you never know. Let's just say we didn't go through this and there might be 100 plus dollars in t-shirts just sitting right here. I got the case. Oh, Heavy? it has weight. <gasps> it has weight, you guys. Manifest, manifest. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I was trying to manifest it, but it looks like just these walkie, like the, the things that they communicate with. Yeah, definitely uh, seen better days, that's for sure. Um, but there is some like new parts in here and stuff. Mm. Helmet kit, STD flex, boom, RE705. So there might be money in the parts as far as this stuff. It does seem like it's deteriorating and stuff. So unfortunately, that might not be worth anything except for maybe some of those parts, but. It is a little bit older, so I don't know if that stuff is still looked for today. But who knows? All right, let's see. That says VM shot glasses. VM, VM. What does that stand for? Mm. Vodka martini. Maybe, yeah. Oh, yeah. The little shot glasses in there. I'm not going to bore you guys too much with that. This one's already open. Oh! Oh, look okay, knives you guys oh man i was really hoping for like some straight or some bonsai folder two that's a ton of knives holy crap oh yeah look at that. all brand new paint oh there's nothing in that one that one's empty that one says frost so maybe i don't know maybe he's a dealer i don't know no special forces flying falcon knife so yeah a lot of these look like they're in china though the vulture so might not be too much money there but it is knives it is knives you guys these sound like shot glasses too and oh yeah look at that hard rock cafe a bunch of glasses universal studios Ooh. that's old that is old five dollars back in the day so oh this one says 97. he was even putting Ooh. the years on them or at least that one in particular so it's okay Give me a sec, you guys. We're gonna put the GoPro down just for a sec so I can move some stuff out and hopefully find some more goodies. All right, guys, check it out. So we just moved some stuff here. All the boxes here, got them right here. I was moving some boxes. You guys can't make this stuff up. Wifey, can you do the honors and show them exactly what we found? You guys. <laughs> we found another safe right there. There's another one, you guys. It's not as big or thick as the other one. But this I one, still might cry. This one we should be able to open up, though. And, like, and if you look back in that little hole, there's more boxes. So this is oh good, you guys. God. 
This is good. It's definitely gonna be some furniture in here, but it's a lot. Wow. Wow, you guys, another. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but it's like so those red couches that we pulled out there with the pull out bed and everything, they're all what Haverty? Haverty's, yeah. They're all Haverty's and it forms a sectional. Yeah. I've I've never known someone to be interested in a red Red sectional. sectional. Yeah. I I don't know, but I will say this here. Here's the uh so what am I call it? But yeah, third safe, you guys. And we already found jewelry bows. So this is actually going really good. Fairly well. Very, very good. All right, let's it see. It says kitchen above stove in old house. Fragile. Okay. Oh, that oh, didn't, one even, didn't even yeah. need it. Uh, see a bunch of glasses. Yeah, unravel a couple pieces. Get a general idea what's in there. But oh, that's Pepsi bottle. Old school Pepsi bottle. Americana. America. Uh, America. Yeah. Let's see some... Uh, you know what that is. Yeah, just some glasses and bottles and yeah, like I said, we're not gonna bore you guys too much, but there is two Pepsi bottles right here that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh there's several. Several, yeah, yeah. more. Uh yeah. that let's see what that's for. This is a Cibolo made by okay, so that's handmade. Okay, cool. Alright, well there's that mm -hmm. box. Again, like I said, we're not gonna bore you guys too much with the glassware and stuff. Not saying there's no money there. It's just it says NASCAR pictures and comfort. NASCAR comforter. All right, that's definitely what the NASCAR comforter is. That's an old comforter. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh yeah, take that bad boy out. Oh look, Hooters. 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 <laughs> What's in the bag or the envelope? Manifest. Oh. Ink. Why oh, is there ink? Let's, let's see what you. Let's see what this year's expired. Let's see. 2018. So, not as old as what I thought it was gonna be, but you know. <coughs> Cassettes. Cassettes. Yep. Let's see what music he was into. Jimmy Buffett, Leonard Skinner. Uh, Confederate Civil War, Rod Stewart. Okay, so one little rock and roll. And George things. Jones. <coughs> I like George Jones. Oh, we always sell these uh, Kodak Easy Share cameras. Uh, it's empty. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah, it's empty. There ain't gonna be nothing in there. Yeah. Uh, I got an Olympus. Ooh, lens. Olympus style zoom 140 deluxe camera. Oh, we sell these cameras all the time too. Yep. Feel like you got some weight in there? No. No? Uh uh. Ah, no camera. No. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. We got a Hooters car yeah, with take, the crew. Take the Hooter out. Yeah, take the Hooters out. Hooters NASCAR racing champions. Okay, that's still a cool piece. Is there anything on the bottom? That tells us what it is now. Uh, yeah. 1992 Racing Champions Hooters car. Okay. So we'll see if we can find a little comp Alan or something. Alan Kowicki. Okay. Uh, what was this thing? That was Dylan Earnhardt. Oh, look at that. Evolution okay. Stock Car Racing. Racing Reflection. Has a little stamp thing. Okay, cool. So yeah, he definitely liked this Dale Earnhardt, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Alright, so also, too, you guys. I pulled this out from the back, and look at this, a Sony DVD recorder. Let's see if it's new, but I mean, it is open, so it's probably used at some point. Oh, actually, well, uh, I figured it'd be, a, it'd be used. It's not. Uh, it's still got the sticker on there. Yeah, we'll take a closer look at it later on, but uh, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and look this bad boy up real quick, just to, just to see if it's worth anything. Sony RDR-GX300. All right, so 41 listed, 15 sold, but there are a bunch of them that are for parts. Uh, and with the box, you're looking at 100 bucks. Nice. 100 bucks right there with the box. The rest yeah. of them, without the box, you're looking at about 80. But this one's uh, with the box, so I don't know. I say 80 to 100 bucks right there. So, and the sell-through rate is not terrible, but it's definitely a little bit not slower. The yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say not the greatest, but it's still a little slow. As long as you price things correctly, it'd be good. Sleeping bags. Maybe, yeah, no. no, yeah, looks like it. Um, Let's see. No, I think they're pillows. Maybe big piles of money. They're pillows. And some kind of foam. Oh, yeah. You can lay on the ground with these. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe you would sleep on the ground with these and you put these as your pillows. I guess. I don't know. All right, we got two boxes and then we got four totes that look like they have clothes on them, but we'll see. What is this? This box all janked up. Mm -hmm. Manifest, Charlie. Manifest. not a very sharp knife oh oh look at that <laughs> vhs player okay oh and two of them all right so two vhs players so you got a hitachi ux 
and then a Memorex SM475, and then you got some kind of alarm clock. Okay, uh, I don't know. That's, I don't know. That, I don't know. <laughs> I know VHS tapes can go for some money, so we'll definitely see. We'll definitely see about that. Desk stuff. Desk stuff. That could be good. That could be good. I got a feeling. That there's going to be nothing in there. Oh! Look at that. How's this desk stuff? Hershey's Park. He liked this Hershey's stuff, y'all. Oh, look at that. that. They'll feel that. Right? That was weird. Okay. What else we got? We got Batman socks. Great Wolf Lodge. A bottle. Margaritaville. Tequila. We got a little rug. What is that? Paint? Anything? Okay. You also have, you can put stuff in here if you want until you're done with it. Okay, we got more of these Dale Earnhardt Senior and Junior. Yeah, little pictures. My, My husband. The Grateful Dead. Oh, yeah, the Grateful Dead. Okay, cool. <clears throat> That's a car. A root hooster McCurry's hooster. Oh, this is like Hoosier. a home uh, Hoosier, whatever. Uh, heating and air. So turn around the back. I think it's like some kind of homemade thing. Mike's mini late models. Yeah, so this is some kind of homemade thing. So I don't think there's gonna be much value in that, but we'll see. Look at that. Look at that. Flip it. <laughs> Del Hernard wall clock with real race sounds as seen on TV. And look at that. Elvis Presley. That is from. Oh, it doesn't have a year on it. Is there anything on the back? COA or anything? It does have this? Says Elvis.com, so it was bought at their website. So okay, cool. That's a cool little box, huh? Yeah. Very awesome. Wasn't expecting a lot. No, it's a desk stuff. So, but again, <clears throat> with us going through the gym, like I said, you guys, we're about 10 feet in now. We still got about another 15 feet back, and there is a ton of stuff. And we do have this uh, unit rented out for a month. The people here at Monster Storage, it's Monster Storage, right? Yeah. Monster Storage, I will try to get their uh, card before we're actually done with this unit. <clears throat> um, and uh, I will showcase their facility because they they are actually very, very nice. They actually even gave us, uh, so they gave us a little bit extra time to clean out this unit because technically we only had three days. And they're like, well, how much, how long do you need? You need an extra week or something? I was like, I was like honestly, with this amount of stuff, and we're about an hour, almost an hour away, I was like, is there any way we can just rent it out for 30 days? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. So we rent it out for 30 days and they gave us the first month for free. I thought that was very generous of them. I was definitely willing just to pay the month, but they were like, no, first month's free. And uh, it's like a promo promotion thing that they're doing. So I was like, okay, well, awesome. Well, we should have this hopefully done in a month. So uh, pretty cool to see them do that. And look at this. Oh, we got a box. Oh, we got a box. Please don't be shoes. Feel like shoes. Okay, all right, hold on. Pepper. Yeah, Chuck and Cheese. Yeah, I want to the pictures. But... <clears throat> okay. Looks like it might be the kids' stuff. It's not a super soaker. It's made in China. I mean, super soakers might be made in China. I don't know. DVDs. DVDs. Some new. Crocodiles. <laughs> oh, you can doodle on your uh -huh. crocs. That, that's used, though. Empty. Okay, so not much in there, huh? Oh, we got some hats. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, take it out. Got a graphic shirt. Okay, so this is this. These could be potential, potentially good. It is vintage. Oh, look at that. Move your hand a little bit. Sorry. National 199 on a vintage Fruit, Fruit of the Loom best. And then look at that back. Oh, look at that. East Alabama Motor Speedway. That wait. What was his name? Don't say it out loud. Just okay. I, I don't um, see his name on there. Okay, the person who who owned this uh, unit, this unit. So, <clears throat> so very cool. You ain't gotta put it back in the plastic. It's fine. Just leave it out. What does I say? Orange County Choppers. I don't know if Orange County Choppers is collectible or not, but it does appear to be some hats in here. Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, look at that. Is, that, is that supposed to be like West Coast Choppers? That's like, kind of like the West Coast Chopper sign right there, but Hard Rock Cafe Nashville, they paid 20 bucks for that. And then that's 1971 Hard Rock Cafe, not from the 70s, that's for sure, but 
Uh, Van Houston. Oh, got some hats. I love me some hats, you guys. I love me some hats. Oh, that wait. Oh, I thought it said Dale Earnhardt. I did too. What is some hat? Made in USA. USA. That's one thing you want to look for. And what's the inner tag? Aim Adventures. Okay. Let me see. Linux. Uh, signed by somebody. What did that say? It's not made in the USA. What does that say? OSP? Yeah. Oglethorpe Speedway? Yeah. yeah. I think that's right. It is vintage though. Mm hmm Made in Bangladesh. Cobra caps. And then what does that one say? Headshot. Headshots. Pepsi 400. 400. Okay. All right, the Winston Cup champion Dale Earnhardt, 1994. Ooh. It's a 94. Right, what's the back? Oh, there's okay, so nothing on the back. Oh, but look at that. Look at that, Charlie. Look, look at the, uh, the new stuff. That one says Gildan, so I'm not. I don't know. This is Alabama State. Look at that. That's bright. Take that one out. This one right here just says Gildan Ultra Cotton. Oh, yeah, you might as well take that one out. See, that one's pretty dope. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, this one's signed. Oh, uh, maybe it's everybody signed in that uh, particular speedway. Look at that. Look at that. Sunoco, Jameson Inn. So there's all the sponsors. What's the back look? Oh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. National Late Model Series. Wow. Southern 2004. Foot to the floor is what it said. That is pretty dope. That is pretty cool. This Racing is. to the rescue, United States Coast Guard. Okay. What's that back look like? Oh, look at that. Sorry. Here, hold it, hold it right there. Oh, there you go. I got you. Look at that. Brand new with tags. Is that a chase tag? The tag? Chase? Competitive. Turn around. Okay, it's action. Okay. So that's year 2000. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. We also got this one right here. I know I so said we're not going to bore you guys too much with the with the clothes, but... but these are just too yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are too cool. Because it's like, you know, back in the day, they really liked their bright colors. Oh, yeah. Look at Alabama State Championship, 21st Annual Alabama Motor Speedway, 1999. And look at the condition on that. Like, literally brand new. Wow. That's that's new old stock, you guys. Oh, and for the heavy, that's heavy. Like, listen like, to that. It's never been worn. Yeah. Like, just listen to heavy of that, like, print. That's heavy. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Well, actually, no, yeah, go open that one up. Oh, look at that. Sydney, Australia. This is definitely... That's a koala. Definitely vintage. Styled in Australia. 100% cotton. Made in China, though. But that yeah. is... Oh, let me, show you, let me show you a little trick of the trade. So, you see how shiny that looks? All right, now hold that. I'm going to show you something. So, usually when it's this shiny, you give it the... It's dry rot. Oh, see that? Dang. Something that you can learn, too. So, anytime it's black from vintage stuff, is a hundred percent dry. You can tell this by a mile away, and like I said, you can just literally just look at this, not like effortlessly. You just, and then another one's like right there. Yeah, see. Dang. So I didn't know that. <clears throat> yep. So that's a, a good. Nope. Good <laughs> dust and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's one way to tell about dry rot, you guys. Black is just it, it definitely dry rot's bad. Now we're gonna take one of them out, just because they look. They do all look the same though. Uh, Terry Lumley, McGurry's heating and air. Oh, look at that back though. Oh, look at that back. You know, that back is sick. Is there a, a year on the front? Not on the front? No. Okay, so no year on it, but that's probably most likely 90s. Okay, here we go. National Late Model Sportsman. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing too crazy there. Kind of a basic thing. Oh, look at this one, though. East Alabama got it going on. I think this is like the third, fourth one that we've seen those bright colors. East Alabama American uh, anniversary, 25th anniversary or something like that. Okay. Vintage tag. And uh, yeah, just assume that's 90s as well. UDTRA. Uh, Pro something series. That is beautiful. I mean, that's a pretty piece on a vintage Haynes tag. Okay. And let me see the back real quick. And that's the back. Oh, so these are like the races. So Brunswick, Georgia, Tampa, Florida, uh, Daytona, Savannah, Georgia. Yep, that's all over the Speedway. All the way through Bristol, Tennessee. So, okay, cool. All right. All right, you guys. So we got, we got to the safe portion. Question is, can we get it out? Oh, there's weight in it. You guys, there's weight in it. Hold on. Charlie. That's not the door. That's something on the inside. Oh, Charlie. 
that thing is going to be filled. I can go, I can already, I can already fill it. It's already, oh my goodness. So yeah, this is, uh. It ain't going to come out that way. So what, it's about to come out like this? Yeah. And we are going to break into this right now, you guys. Oh my goodness. We're going to try our darndest anyways. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm freaking out, Charlie. It's a skinny one. Yeah, I know. But that's fine. Hey, like, listen though. You guys, listen to this. Oh, I hear something. Yeah. Man, look at this, you guys. It's already kind of almost open. Alright, let me see that crowbar. Hey guys, so after about 20 minutes, we finally got this bad boy open. We have not looked in it other than whenever we were prying it open. I hit my dang foot with the hammer. As soon as I pulled it back, it it undid and boom, hit me right in my foot. Oof. All right, you guys, I'm hoping guns. The only thing we saw was ammo, but come on, please let it be guns, please. Okay. All ammo. Oh my God, holy crap. This oh. is a lot. Hold on, hold on, I gotta take pictures of this. Holy crap. This is a holy lot. crap. Oh my goodness. Whoo. See, this is kind of making me think that there's something bigger in, in the, the big other stage, saves. right? That's like if I'm this saying. was just his ammo locker. Yes. All right, is it all filled? You guys, oh my god. 44 Magnum. 44 Magnum. Oh, wait, that's 100 rounds per case. Is yeah. that what it says? Oh no, 50 rounds. Yeah, 50, 50 rounds per bag. So that's 150 rounds right there. Look, look, look at this. Open that bag up. Yeah, there's go in there too. Oh wait, no, that's 38 special. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh my god, wait, let me put that in there too. I don't know. Oh wait, that's a lock. <laughs> you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna slide this this way real quick. When I say this thing is heavy, look at this. I can't even move yeah, it. Yeah, you can't move it. Alright, so let's just see here, you guys. Oh, oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is 308 on it. Oh my, wait. Holy crap, look at that. What are those two? I don't know. Let me see. LCO5. Alright, so yeah, you guys, look at that. That thing is filled right there. You guys, if these videos don't go viral, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this is absolutely wild. But look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. 45. 45s. All filled. Oh my goodness. And these don't need to stay in the sun either. Yeah. There's all this. We got some. Speed shell, it looks yeah, like some tin stuff. stuff. Okay, that's cool. Triple seven muzzle loading, something right there. A little different, right? Stop, Charlie, tell me this isn't like mm -hmm. one of our crazies. I believe all this, you guys. All this is still, and this is full. I'm gonna tell you it's full. This is for a 308 Winchester. Look at this. You can already feel they're all full. Oh, as soon as we got that, as soon as I moved it, Charlie, I literally felt weight and I was hoping for guns. But Charlie, if we're finding ammunition, 45. there has to be something in those safes, right? 45 Colt, 300 right. Wind Mag. Uh, yeah. Uh, I ain't seen none yet. I haven't yet. seen none. There's 270, 338, 7, let's see, 45 Colt, 308. So yeah, I think it's... I, I think it's all filled. Yeah, it looks like it's all filled. That's what it's a few bucks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially nowadays. Wait, 
these are full metal jackets. No. These are full metal jackets. These are... It's right here. Oh, that, yeah, that's 7.62. What are they? AR. AR. Oh, AR, yeah. That's a lot. It is a lot. That is cool. Good. I'm glad we got it open. Wow, 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 you guys. That is right. That right there was the fourth safe that we have found in this storage unit. The first one nothing in it the second and third ones that we found the big ones at this point in time we have not opened them we know exactly what we found uh if there was anything in it wing wing right uh and um but yeah i wanted to stop it here because this is one of the biggest highlights of the storage unit other than finding the other safes and the bows and a bunch of other stuff that we found uh, but this is just one of the many highlights of the storage unit. so i wanted to end it there to really let what we found kind of thrive over here on youtube because having that much ammunition and i will say we have found potentially more in the storage and <laughs> try not to give away too much information but that thing was absolutely heavy uh, everything from 762 to 380 to 300 wind 200 uh, 270 wind to uh 45 i mean there's just there's so much ammunition in this uh safe so uh, pretty awesome stuff and of course we are keeping every last bit of it uh, so I just wanted to showcase that and uh, of course everything that we found in the storage units a lot of collectibles graphic t-shirts uh, I mean pretty awesome stuff and this unit is just getting started you guys let's just say the next video I'm thinking is going to be something kind of even more wild than ever so uh, be prepared that is gonna be the end of this video though I do appreciate all the love and support uh, but uh yeah i just really want to cherish and and savor these moments of uh the the, the many of things that we have found in this storage unit. so hope you guys enjoy this video appreciate all the love and support you guys i mean absolutely insane of how much we have grown over the past two two and a half weeks we are currently at eleven thousand five hundred and thirty subscribers just i don't know what to say you guys i appreciate each and every one of y'all uh, in the past 28 days, we've done 81,000 views. That is the most I've ever done in a month. So thank you all so much for sticking with me. We do plan on doing more storage units and all that. But this unit is not over by no means. I don't know how many episodes we have after this, but I know it's a lot of footage. So, <laughs> so thank you guys for all the love and support. We will see you guys next video. It's your boy, Georgia Picker. Peace.